So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a double bar graph. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to start by looking at our data up here at the top. So we can see in our data, we have how many cats, dogs, and horses fourth graders have, and then we have how many cats, dogs, and horses fifth graders have. So now we're going to take this data and put it down on our double bar graph. So the first thing we need to decide is what's going to go on our y-axis, the up and down, and what's going to go on our x-axis, the sideways. So we're going to want the numbers to go vertically up the side. So we're going to call that the number of pets. I don't think I can rotate that. Oh, yeah, I can. There we go. Number of pets. Perfect. And then on the bottom, we are going to write the type of pets. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to graph how many cats each has. So let's start with cats. Cats will be our first one. So I'm going to take my tool here. And we're going to say that the grade fours we're going to do in this green color. So the grade fours have four cats. So I'm going to color in four squares. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to color that in. And then we can see the grade fives have six cats. So I'm going to do six in the next column. Oops. It's a little bit hard to do with my stylus. So it's not perfect. Just forget me. Okay. So the next piece of data we're going to do is dogs. So. I have lots of paper space here, so I am going to just uh, spread them pretty far apart. So we're going to start with our grade fours again. They have eight dogs, so I'm going to count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, And then our grade fives, which is our blue color, have five dogs. One, two, three, four, five. And finally, we will do the number of horses. Put this over here. So again, I'm going to get my same colors. So green for grade fours, they have four horses. Grade fives have six horses. So the nice thing about these bar graphs is it's a really quick and easy way to compare. Um, one thing we are missing, we are still missing a title. So we could call this type of pets in grade four and five. Oops, a little bit too big. And the only other thing too we are missing is numbers along the side for our... So you would normally have a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, six, seven. Because we wanna have our scale on the side, it's just a little bit hard to do on here. So let's review the different parts of a bar graph so we started with our data then we labeled our y-axis and our x-axis we put in our categories here we put in our scale on the side and then we recorded our data making sure we use the lines not the spaces and so now we can see at a quick glance the grade fives have more cats than the grade fours the grade fours have more dogs and the grade fives have more horses. We could compare, oh look, the same number of cats and horses for grade fours. It's just a really easy way for us to see the data.